and welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your very first time seeing my face my name is adora and this is life with adabeke i am a nigerian youtuber based out of st louis i'm also an incoming medical student you know i'm going to be a medical student in the fall if this is your very first time seeing my face let me know in the comments what made you click what made you be like i want to check out this video i really really want to know and for those who see my face before for my subscribers welcome 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 back thank you all for getting me to 100 subscribers within a week the love has been massive the love has been amazing and i'm so 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 grateful i can't even put it into words but i know you came here for a reason so let's get right into it I just you know i was channeling my inner african beauty <laughs> but tell me in the comments how i look if you like my look i like it it's you know i just blue dry my hair and just look really cute thank you so today's video has been something that people have asked me a lot about you know as i've had my you know as i've grown as i've done my mcat thing as i've blogged as i've continued to just share my experience people keep asking me how do I, you know, how do I study for the MCAT? How did you study for the MCAT? How do I self-study for the MCAT? And let me just put a disclaimer out there. I did not self-study for the MCAT. I'm going to do a um, YouTube video to explain why and why I did what I did. But because of what I did, I was able to realize that it was possible to self-study for the MCAT. So I, you know, learned a few tips and tricks on how to study self study for the MCA even though I didn't do it and I just want to share it with you if you are actually someone who did self study for the MCA and you did do well please 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 let me know if these tips I shared are stuff that you did if there are tips that you used and let me also know if there are other tips that you used as well we want to know we want to learn so the MCA is um, an over $300 test right so you're already spending just $300 um, $320 or so just paying for the test alone not to talk of everything else that goes into prepping for the test so <laughs> please not everybody has that money so we're always looking for ways to you know how can I cut costs do I have to use all these test prep companies and all that so I you know gathered a few tips and tricks along the way and I just wanted to share it with you as usual I have my trusted notebook this notebook here yeah, is going is a in fact is a member of the vlog member of this uh, YouTube community so I'm going to be sharing all the tips I wrote down the very first one is that you need to get the WAMC MCAT syllabus. I call it the MCAT syllabus because literally it has every single thing that you will be tested on in the MCAT. It's, I don't know, I'm, everything I say, I'm going to link it in the description. So if you're looking for anything, just go to my description box. It's already there. So it's every single, you know, they tell you where um, they are testing you on 4A. I think 4A was fluids water i think no 5a was water like everything block by block five going from chemistry to biochem to physics to biology to psych -sush. they tell you every single thing that is going to be on the test so there's no surprises everybody whether you're self-studying whether you're studying through a test prep company you need to have that mcat syllabus with you you really really need to have it so like, like i said it's linked in my um, description box below so armed with that that's really what tells you that okay this is what we need to know going into this MCAT test the next thing you need to have is a self-study timetable <laughs> a lot of people want to self-study but they want to wing it they're just like oh I'll come today tomorrow and then whatever I decide I want to study that day I study that day hmm. my people the disappointment you will feel when you realize that you have barely done anything is going to be bad. You need a self-study timetable. In fact, let me tell you a trick as someone who did use a prep course. The prep courses themselves give you a timetable. So you as someone who is self-studying, you need to have that timetable. You need to know that, okay, today I'm going to be going over water. I'm going to be doing... Um, two cars passages i'm going to be looking at some q banks you need it you need to have it you need to have it 
next step test prep um, or now they are known as blueprint test prep they i think they they offer they have the ability to do free timetables for you so i would say go there that's a good resource again i'm going to link if that's something that they still do but i remember at some point that that was something that they did so they you they can help you you know you say okay i'm studying for three months i'm studying for five months, however long you're studying what days you're going to be studying on and they will just block it out for you, you get the next thing is that you need the double amc practice exams and q banks people of god if you are saying you want to study for the mcat and you are not using the materials that those who make the tests are creating what are you doing what are you now doing <laughs> you are deceiving yourself you are deceiving yourself you need to have that wmc their q banks they have Q banks and section banks, so question banks, they have these questions that you can do. They, you need to have it. And also, they have four practice tests, four um, scored practice tests and one on scored. You need to have all of it. I believe they sell it as a bundle. So if you're going to spend money on anything, that's where you need to spend money on. That is where you need to spend money on. Buy it. If you're someone who already qualifies for the fee assistance program, if you already qualify, I think they give it to you for free or at a reduced cost. I'm not very sure. But whoever it is, if there's nowhere else you spend money, I mean, obviously, other than um, paying for the test itself, you need to buy those their materials. If you've gotten this far, <laughs> please, 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 please make sure to subscribe, like, share, comment, and just keep watching as I keep giving you more tips. The next thing is Khan Academy videos. So Khan Academy has so graciously done like a Khan Academy MCAT um, playlist. So they have playlists for each of the sections that are offered in the, um, that are tested in the MCAT. So they keep saying that they are going to take it down. They may or may not take it down. But as of right now, as of the time that I am recording and hopefully dropping the video, Khan Academy MCAT videos are still available. I'll link you to it. They're a very good resource because they just take the point. First of all, Khan Academy has been saving college student lives since 19 Borokutu. Like, as they, they have been saving lives, you guys. But one beautiful thing that Khan Academy does is that they've, you know, they've already done it in sections. They take a, a concept and explain it to you so beautifully so that is something that you can really use to supplement or actually let it be your main content review portion for the MCAT. Next thing is extra practice exams. Like I said the WMC gives you, call it four, four um, practice exams and to me I don't feel like it's enough right? So I would say you know getting at least two or maybe three extra practice exams from other test companies, they are not that expensive. So um, I know NextEp offer. I think NextEp gives you one free one in addition to the diagnostic. So that's already a free one that you can get. And maybe I think um, Kaplan also gives a free one. So you know, just take take your freebies where you can. But you can get those um, extra practice exams. You use them before you start using the WMC um, practice exams. And I think they're a good way of also, you know, testing your knowledge and making sure that you are where you want to be before exam day. Yeah. This one is a well-known secret. I want to say well-known, but it's, it's a secret. Is a secret that is not a secret. Let me put it like that. <laughs> there's this side search Dropbox. There's the, I think, 100-paged one, and then there's the 300-paged one. Essentially, somebody or a group of people so generously one day decided to put together documents of like for the psych social section, just like a review document that has now gone around on the internet. It's everywhere. I'm going to find it and link it again in my description box. It's just a very quick and easy way to review psych social content. Like it really helped me, especially for content that I kept on forgetting, especially like parts of the brain and stuff and what they did it's just a good way to go there and be like okay hind brain does this um hypothalamus does this amygdala is for this you know that kind of thing just reviewing stuff quick 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 so is this psych search drug box again free resources on the internet another one the mcat podcast if you guys remember my first video i talked about med school hq the youtube channel med school hq so before um, Dr. Gray had the YouTube channel, they still have and first started as the podcast. So those podcasts, the MCAT podcast is one, is an offshoot of um, 
he's of the med school HQ. And what they do is that they take the full length, a whole full length exam and break each question down. Like they tell you the reasoning why, you know, how to eliminate a, you know, how to eliminate wrong answer, how to think through questions. This is something that you can just be listening at. I used to listen last, all of last summer before I took my M M my MCAT. Even from when I started studying, I will just be listening and be like, okay, mm, I got this question wrong. Why did I get it wrong? All this kind of thing. Just listening and hearing the logic behind the question is so, 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 so underrated. You have the MCAT podcast and you have the MCAT cars podcast. So that one is also taking you through the cars section, trying to get you to think about, you know, what are you missing in a, sec um, in a passage? Why are you getting this wrong? Why is this the correct answer? Because it's not just to know that the answer is correct. You also want to know why that answer is correct. So the next thing is Anki Dex. So Anki is this, I don't know how to explain Anki, but essentially like flashcards, virtual flashcards essentially. I didn't use Anki, but many, many people swear by Anki. And Anki is actually something I do plan to use in medical school. So Anki decks are really, really nice because, you know, you're just going, you know, repeating concepts because, you know, that space repetition is so, so important when it comes to studying for the MCAT. So it helps you to repeat content. So you're like, okay, what do I know? What don't I know? What do I need to keep reviewing? So Anki decks are really, really important. And last but not least, books. So I put books last because some people just use the Khan Academy videos to supplement get, ever getting books at all. But if you're someone who likes to read, who likes to, you know, read the material, I would say get some books. But make sure to get books that, from a test prep company that you know, that it will not confuse you, you know, you don't want to be confused. <laughs> You, you don't want to be studying for the MCAT. It's not be, the material will not be confusing you more. I use the next, um, the Blueprints books. I found them very helpful. In fact, I'm going to, when I get to 1K subscribers, I'm going to do an MCAT book giveaway. So, but if you're, if you're somebody who books is not really that, all that for you, then you don't need books. You don't need the books. The videos will suffice to me or, but oh, that's what I have so far. What I've said so far resonated with you. Again, if you did self-study for the MCAT and you did do well, please tell us what your tips were in the comments. If you're someone who, you know, wants to try out these tips or have tried them and you felt they didn't work for you, let me know as well. But as usual, thank you so much for watching this video. Please be sure to like, subscribe, share, comment. You know, let people know especially those who you know are studying for the MCAT and are looking for resources share my video with them as well and as usual i'll see you next time in my next video bye